Hey everybody, this is not a spring check, and can you believe this? Obama suckered the Republicans in again! Well, they ever learned. It sounds like a marriage, doesn't it? <laughs> okay, so now they're going to have to give him everything he asks? Oh, wait a minute. Was that new? Well, for now, we're going to bring old Cam on with comments on the headlines of today. The parts. Yeah, the parts are worth more than a car. And it's all over for the Republicans. Oh, well, yeah. I mean, uh, they're, they're basically... Uh, here's what I heard last night talking about... Well, the Republicans are a divided party. They are, you know, the they're, they, the party elders basically are wanting the status quo, and the younger people are basically said, up yours to the party. Okay, one of the guys said that, uh, he said that this is the President of the United States to the Republican Party leadership. I need my butt kissed today. Who are you going to send over to do it? <laughs> That's because they said they know Obama depends upon... The, the Republican leadership caving in every time he wants something done. Was that what the Senate passed the spending bill, 54 to 44? Yeah, which means three of the Republicans bet, three of the Republicans joined the Democrats today. Mm -hmm. Isn't that something? Which is what they always need to win the thing. Obama can count on three Republicans in the Senate every time. Mm -hmm. And Obama is scared of his wife. Well, he said it on, he got it with nobody paying attention. He actually said it? Yep. He, he, he said, I'm scared, you know, I'm frightened of her. And, uh, what? Yeah, he said he quit smoking uh, because he said he was frightened of what she, you know, frightened of her personally. So, and everybody knows he's a total whip. He's, uh, you know, it's just, it, it's just typical for uh, so called powerful men to have wives that they're scared to death of. Why? Because the wives are actually running the show, not him. Anybody want to believe that, that all of these fast food restaurants are, are changing their menus because they're afraid of the president and health care? No. They're afraid of the influence that she has on her husband. And they, remember, it's perfectly all right for Obama and his wife to eat any bit of junk food that they want. I, like last night. And, and you can see it on her. And I was listening to one of the comedians, one of his supporters last night. He said, well, she didn't got that... You know what they said. She looks like a freight train walking away from you, and she didn't get that by not eating junk food. Mm -hmm. So, and um, Bill O'Reilly stands against Republicans on Obamacare. Well, yeah, that's he basically he supports uh, Obama. Well, it will fall under its own weight, like they pointed out today. Here's a simple thing. He said Social Security was a disaster from day one. It still is a disaster. Medicaid was a disaster from day one. It's still a disaster. FHA was a disaster from day one. It's still a disaster. There is no such thing as a government program that goes away. Once it's there, they don't even, they never even fix them. They just continually pile money into them. And there's no way to fix Obamacare. You have to throw the whole thing out and start all over again. And the Democrats are never going to allow it because it's their signature program. Even if it bankrupts the nation, they're not going to dump it. And Cameron appeals to Scott one year before referendum. Yeah, well, they're not going to, they're going to vote themselves out because here's the problem. Most of everything that England has comes from the North Sea. The North Sea is the domain of the Scots folks, not the British. Hmm. And Merkel's anti-mandate. Yeah, um, because the, there are the younger Republicans are in unison with the younger America. Okay, they said... They needed, by April 1st, like 7 million people signed up for Obamacare that basically aren't on insurance now. And um, there, it's not happening because young people, they, they, virtually every major member of the press uh, in applications or television stuff in this country have all said the same thing. They're not stupid. If you're not paying anything before, why do you want to pay three or $4,000 and now? It's just... The, the, uh, the president, well, this is, what you're, this is going to be so good for you, and you can help other Americans. Well, they don't care about helping other Americans, and they basically aren't going to pay $3,000 a person to get mm. something they don't want. And Burger King debuts a lower-fat french fries. Yeah, like one of the women, boy, this is really, I heard it saying, you know, this is really good, you know, I'm... I, I think I'm going to go out and get a cardboard box and have cardboard with my hamburger. You know, okay, what they did is everybody, all the fast food restaurants, okay, Obama wants people, or actually his wife, wants you to sit down for 20 or 30 minutes and eat your meals. 
and, uh, and fast food is bad for you. Well, the problem comes is that uh, people go in to have fast food because they enjoy fast food. It, and this is sort of ridiculous. They're doing a thing now on e-cigarettes about they're going to regulate it out of business in this country because... Oh, that would be horrible. That's the idea because they, um, they okay, here's the thing. They won't let you have an e-cigarette, which for the most part has no tobacco or nicotine in it whatsoever, but they will let you smoke a, um, smoke marijuana in places. There, there's no rules about going into businesses and smoking marijuana while there's the same rules against e-cigarettes and cigarettes now. Yeah, what's the deal with that? Because different marijuana is being done for the good of the community. They're going to make taxes. Oh, what did Herbie's daddy say? You mean like Colorado and California are finding out that it's cheaper for the people to buy the stuff exactly like they did before than to pay the taxes they're putting on the marijuana? Oh my gosh, it's cheaper without taxes. Yeah, I, I know. that. Oh, Herbie Daddy said only a Democrat and, and Libertarian Republicans would not understand that they would simply go get it from the source without the taxes on it. You mean like where they were getting it from before? Oh, exactly from the source they were getting it from before. <laughs> And Merkel's anti-mandate. Oh yeah, she lost control of her legislature and won the won the she became the head of the country by the largest uh, um, victory total since Adolf Hitler, and she has no control. So it, 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 here's one of the people that was trying to unseat her said specifically. He said, if your party lost the majority of its seats because of Merkel's policies. And Merkel wins in a landslide. Shall we say that election was not exactly honest? Mm. Yeah. And after Syria, Congress are wary of Obama's Iran thaw. Oh yeah. Well, he's talking. Uh, Kerry is talking to their version of him in Iran today, uh, and they're basically coming to an understanding that it's it was the Republicans that spread all of these rumors about Iran that they're not after nuclear weapons. It was George Bush and the Republicans that spread that rumor. They're, they don't have all those centrifuges building things for nuclear weapons. It was George Bush. See, the Obama administration appreciates another world power coming to his side when it's about George Bush and the Republicans. Mm -hmm. And Germany sold Syria chemicals with military potential government. Yeah, so it's... Okay, the day they've all decided, decided that uh, there's more places that have Syrian chemicals than they originally thought something. Oh. Yeah. And the U.S. IRS official at heart of Tea Party review scandal retires. Yeah. They gave, okay, when, okay, once she's out of office, she becomes like Hillary, and she just simply won't go testify now. So oh, the, really? Here's the problem is. The Republican leadership kisses the rear end of our president. Mm -hmm. They only need... 40 votes in the set in the house to keep anybody from being uh, interviewed uh, and they only need um, three Republicans in the Senate to stop it so that nothing is being done and there's no investigations actually moving forward on this president because he has too many people on the Republican side in his back pocket mm -hmm. and government seeks dismissal of Petraeus related lawsuit well yeah because the lawsuit has no validity and they don't they shouldn't even be paying attention to it you know, this is the woman that blew the whistle on him as having an affair with somebody else. First of all, he wasn't a member of the United States military, so therefore the code of, e code of ethics does not exist for a guy that's a cabinet member. Yeah. So that's why they're ignoring it. It's irrelevant. Oh, God. And fire breaks out on a Russian nuclear submarine. Which, that happens a lot on Russia, Russian nuclear submarines. They had one that sank. Uh, one of their big typhoon things sank right in the, the dock it was at and killed a whole bunch of people when it caught on fire. And the, the submarine that they sold to Turkey, and it was sold, I guess it was sold to, it might have been sold to Turkey, it, it, I don't know if it was India, when it sank, it, it caught on fire and sank, and that one in the harbor, so. And a Monty bubble is in front of the Mark Twain of the animal kingdom. Oh, okay. Often things are not exactly as they seem to be and actually turn out exactly as they were meant to be. <laughs>